Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I know this is a little bit of a weird place to start, but uh, we are on to the second part of the uh, Golden Apple Archipelago story. Uh, so I highly recommend you watch the last episode. Obviously this is the whole series in order, so it always always give you a good, uh, you know, always good to watch the previous episode. But the previous episode especially will give you a kind of the intro to how we got where we are and what we're doing. So I believe it's Kazuo's story up first. Um, Paimon's just waking us up. The story is beginning, so we'll see you back after the cutscenes. Alright, so we have awoken on the island. We saw some weird illusions flashing in the background. Boats can talk. Squirrels can talk. Cats and dogs are living together. Mass hysteria. But, um, yeah, no, in all serious, some, some weird stuff is going on, which is uh, probably in no part related to the, the, the broken machine up here that was making the other guy, like, lose his mental state. We're probably slowly going insane or something like that. Um... Also, I know I didn't show up, but there's there's an absolute hilarious joke in the beginning of the cutscene where Paimon goes to wake the Traveler up, and then she's like, I have good news and bad news, and the, the Traveler literally just falls back out of frame, like, screw this, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> and I've never felt so connected with the main character in this game in my entire life. <laughs> It'll go away if I just sleep some more. Uh, but anyway, our, uh, our talking boat has agreed to take us over to the first island to see what the hell is going on, so... Um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head out to I think it's over here is Kazuo's Island and see what on earth is going on. All right, we're almost over to the first island that caught we're our eye. Almost there. Please take all your personal belongings with you and mind your step as you disembark. Look, there's something over there. <laughs> wow. It's. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> So this is Kazuo's Island, or the Mirage where Kazuo's thing came from. So let's see what's going on. Alright, so the little island actually had a box belonging to Kazuo's family on it. And, uh, yes, yeah, transported us to, uh, some strange domain. Yeah, so now we need to... We have, Kazuo has been separated from the party, though, so we need to find Kazuo. And I think I hit the wrong one. Joy. Air to chest. Oh, there it is. Uh, do I want to bother with all this stuff? Holy hell, a lot of squirrels. Uh, nah, you know what? We're just gonna get through this story. Let's do that. So we're in, we're in some kind of weird domain. Which, I don't know, maybe I'm stupid, but I never realized that, like, domains are like like the ley lines store memories from the world even though the story's talked about this hundred times like the ley lines that we use find in the open world uh that we get our from they contain like memories basically and like that's how domains and stuff are generated they're generated from like memories being put together so that's weird looks like a letter kazaha wrote while he was traveling <laughs> what a sad letter Lord Kazuha. Kazuha, are you in here? It's my lucky day. Yeah. Of course. Let's light it up. Teamwork is. Turn with me. Wait. Power of the dead is high, John. Fall before me. It's an over. Cheap tricks. Wind strike. Yeah, these guys are actually kind of beautiful for me in this kind of quest month. That made me a little bit worried for the later mob on the archipelago, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Please don't get Thank you. Oh, there's more of them. Of course there's more of them. Go go get it, scroll no, I can't wait for us to get some DV on Kazuo. 
start using that, uh, that E on that. I think we have to go this third one. This third one has the... <laughs> I think I canceled too quick, so I actually lost the color. Whatever. I mean, these runes are so weird. It's kind of crazy, I think, like the world in this game is alive and it's digging for people's memories and recreating these places that have like the twisted you know recesses of the little bits of knowledge it picks up so it gets some stuff right like a basic design but it doesn't know how to fill in the blanks so it just pumps it full of random stuff and random like you know Designs. Right, let's see what's going on in here. This looks like a main courtyard of some sort. The flesh reside Kazuha when that time comes. Uh -huh. I heard an old man yep. say something about the Kaedeharas. Sounds like <laughs> it might be Kazuha's grandfather. Listen. Oh yeah, just 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 so you're prepared, these are probably all going to be long episodes because most of these character stories are in a domain, and I generally like to show most of the domains. Father, <laughs> work has. But you, you know what? We'll, I believe we'll probably the start other voice get belongs to Lord Kazuha's father. Oh, I see. We have ventured into Lord Kazuha's memory. I think he's in here. Yep, he is. What's up, Kazuo? How you been chilling around your old place? Alright, so so we find out Kazuo's clan is broke now. You know, lots of stuff has happened. They've kind of fallen apart. You know, big sad boy hours. But, uh, more importantly, this uh, this little item here seems to take us in and out of Kazuo's realm. Or Kazuo's thing. Uh, importantly, some little, like, bit of information that I noticed after playing through this a couple times. The character... Actually, no, I think it's just, no, it's just Kazuo's. Ka in Kazuo's, Kazuo gets transported somewhere else. But in the other ones, I believe the people stay with you. Which is quite weird. Oh, there's these shells, which are part of an event. Uh, and basically, if we get 16 of them, we get official skins. So we're just going to mark that we found them as we find them. And I'll work towards our official skin. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna start cutting out a bit of the domains because I don't want these episodes to be like an hour <laughs> or something because the domains are quite long. That was uh, that's something I normally do. I show all the and I just cut out the end of the stuff. But I'll still give you the run but down. Like I do for the cutscenes, I'll just show off some of the more interesting set pieces. Definitely fun to play. Not, and I actually think they are the right one. I definitely feel like they shouldn't be afraid to make these for like one hour-ish adventures. But for a format like a Let's Play, it can be a little bit annoying. So, yeah. All right, we found some some rocks that Kazu asked for. We're actually gonna go pick up some of the rest of the shells on the island, and then we're gonna go back over there. So I'll see you after I picked up the rest of these shells. All right, we picked up two more. Uh, shells on the island. I think we need 16 total for the skin, so I think we're up to 5 now. But uh, we're going to touch this rock garden, go back inside, and uh, get the next part of Kazuo's domain. Again, Kazuo is missing. So I definitely wasn't wrong about him disappearing in all of them. I wonder why, because he's the only one of the three characters that actually disappears whenever their domain is up. It's kind of weird. Uh... Alright, now let's play the I forget where the hell I'm supposed to be going game. It says it's over there, but that was locked. I guess that is where I'm supposed to be going, and I'm just blind as a bat. Yeah, I guess we're looking for... Uh, oh, oh, it's right here. I'm blind. Now we go up. 
Hmm. Yeah. It's one of those things that's like, you can obviously tell it's a, like, the soul of the world or what the hell you want to say, recreating it. Because this is obviously not a structure that would be normally there. You wouldn't just have four floors or five floors to stack randomly like that in a home, right? Like, it looks like there's trees on the roof up here and stuff like that. A little, a little bit weird. It's like an AI generated, uh, was told what a house looked like it made it. So this is the, every one of these uh, character domains has like a, a unique mechanic. Cosmos is this one here, where you can actually flip the rotation of the, um, the, like, you know, flip the room 180 to be able to go find, um, different things. I think this is all we have to do. Just shoot through. Yep. Okay. That's all we have to do for this first one. But these they do get a little bit complex and they definitely are. Having to sit here and wait for the rooms to flip all the time is really annoying. So I think uh, this is probably one of the things I'm going to cut out is me doing these puzzles. Man, I said I'd always say this in every domain room, but I just love like the weird. It's like, for lack of a better better term, like shattered reality effect that we have going on. Okay, so we need a yellow for this. All right, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch through sit through all these puzzles. So I'll be right back. All right, that should be the end of this puzzle. We collected the the talisman or whatever for this one. Um, or, yeah, normally I would leave the puzzles in just in case someone needs to use as a reference, but since this event's going to go away soon, I kind of figured it's, you don't really need to keep it as a, lefren, a reference, so I'm just going to use it to highlight some points of the story. Damn. Alright, so like, you know, the lore we're kind of getting here is, you know, the, uh, the family kind of seeing the downfall of their clan, kind of like realize it and kind of, you know, like, help. Kazuha be like, yo, listen, like, just go live your life, it's fine. You don't have to, like, try to fix everything that's all messed up already, like, it's fine, which is, you know, surprisingly good parenting, uh, considering today's day and age, uh, where most people, uh, <laughs> have their dreams crushed, but, you know, um, uh, existence is torture. I don't know. Kazuha's is probably... Lot about you, Mr. Kayadehara. It's my honor to meet you today. It is Kazuha's honor to duel with a military man like yourself. Kazuha, get ready. I feel like Kazuha's is arguably the... So, all of them have like little gimmicks that affect how the puzzles work in their domains. I feel like Kazuo, for some reason, has the weakest puzzle thing and the weakest, like, story. I don't know if it's maybe because I know more about Kazuo's character, but we don't necessarily learn anything super new through the domain, just basically that, like, we already knew his clan had kind of collapsed, and, like, so he's kind of fucked off. Like, we never, we, you know, maybe originally we thought that, you know, he was, uh... You know, he left because, you know, he ran away from it, but in the story kind of reveals that now they kind of they kind of knew everything was downhill, so they kind of just let him go and go do whatever he wanted, but I don't, I don't know, his his domain doesn't really give you any, any earth-shattering things. It's not necessarily that the other ones do, but at least, like, Mona's gives a little bit of intrigue and, like, officials helps, like, give her some, uh, you know normalize her a little bit or make her story a bit more relatable. And then Zinian, Zinian's is actually pretty close to Kazuo's. Like, I don't know, it's one of those things where the characters get story, but because it's kind of like backstory and backstory is kind of the thing we already have for our characters relatively well developed, then it kind of just ends up feeling a little bit okay. Whereas like, you know, the Albedo event and stuff like that where we get new information on the characters or 
or like shocking revelations um maybe impacts a bit more maybe this is something that just like it doesn't impact me as much because i'm very deep into the game you know i kind of i know a lot about it but i don't know anyway be back when i solve this puzzle all right back to normal solve the puzzle but uh yeah i don't know if uh if you've played through this event just uh just leave a comment and say which one of these domains was like your favorite and your least favorite mainly from like a you know a, like a story like which one gave you the most in interesting like kind of like developments obviously like fischl's and um mona's are kind of slam dunks i think fischl's obviously being the main one of the event you know kind of definitely they pulled out all the stops for fischl's domain so hers is definitely a highlight um but yeah tell me uh tell me what's your favorite one of these uh these stories is or these uh these four character stories is from the event all right i'll be back to fish this puzzle I always feel like I do this puzzle the wrong way every time I do it because like I always feel like the other ones you only have to flip them like once or twice but for this one I feel like I flip the rooms like six times before I actually get it to the point where I finish the puzzle. Speaking of which, where the hell do I put these in? Uh, is it up here? I don't think so. I think it's down here somewhere. I want to say it's on the other side maybe. Oh, I think I have to flip it again. Yeah, again, feeling like I need to flip this one a million times before I can actually get to the the solution. Yeah. Two shrines over here. And then, thankfully, we don't have to flip it again. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think we have to go up here? No. I am remembering poorly. All right, some more backstory. Just talk about how you know the elder fa character kind of knows the end is coming, and Kazuo still wants to keep trying to make it work. Which I mean, you know, there, there is something to be said about you know if something's not working out to to stop it. But I think in real life, it's more of like a hey, if something's not working out, go again. <laughs> hey, Write it down. Tough enough to go against me? Ha, no response. What's wrong? Scared? Did you really think it would be wise to pick a fight with the Kaidahara clan? Teamwork is dream. As one with wind and cloud. Ah, I hide. Shoot the fairy. Wind strike. Die, please. Haven't won yet. Die, die, die. Shoot the fairy. All right, where's the boss guy? All right. That's another chest, and I think we should be finding Kazuo here shortly and getting out of this domain. The Kaidahara clan nope. is no longer what it used to be. That's Kazuo's voice. Oh, here's Spectral Kazuo. Interestingly, though, this is um, this is something I didn't notice until recently. So all the shells you've been finding around the uh, around the islands, they spawn like these purple after images. When they like tell us about the past if you ever want and like i totally just realized that like kazuo's you know being this purple spectral thing here kind of communicates that to us that it's a similar effect also this uh this whole grainy Maybe effect here is pretty cool arts, but uh this is just a story for a while i'll do a blood <laughs> i'm gonna walk through this until they find you again at the end total side note i love how they actually bothered to animate the character walking across the these panels here and how like, like it actually changes realistically with how the light would be I don't know this is kind of cool hey we found Kazuo after walking through 1962 or whenever they had non-colored televisions all right we're out of that domain and now we're gonna keep looking for more tools for the rock garden to unlock more domains but um yeah on a side note then that this story has kind of made Kazuo a little bit more of a somber character he's kind of always been but this made me realize that, holy crap, can't we have any, like, just people just, like, living their best life? Like, it makes you appreciate, it makes me appreciate people like Fischl and Bennett more who are, like, just kind of living their best life, you know, doing what they want, having fun, existing. Whereas, like, everybody else feels like they got these heavy burdens and stuff. And, like, you know, Fischl and Bennett got their problems, too, but, yeah, I don't know. They feel like they're more, you know. There's a lot of the other people sometimes feel like they have to take on the responsibility of the world and 
not try and not let it crush them and stuff like that. Some of our more happy go lucky characters just to be like, hey, that's true. <laughs> you know, makes me appreciate some more of the, uh, our less serious characters. Thinking about it though, actually, this is. I wonder if there's a correlation here, but like a lot of the people who seem to have either you know, like somber stories or like very pressured existences, tortured souls, if you will, a lot of them seem to be five stars. Obviously, there's some four stars too. We got to deal with some more stuff going on, you know. People like Ningguang got her whole thing going on, Kaya, but like most of the four stars just seem to be living their best life, you know. <laughs> the the biggest problem Diona's got is trying to cheat trying to get that bastard Deluke out of the wine business. I pictured fucking Diona over there like a was it Mudley and uh oh, man, was it just some our old cartoon. <laughs> it's like drat, drat, double drat <laughs> You know, her hijinks, but uh but anyway we got another piece of the puzzle, so let's go in. Alright, this one is basically just um basically just walking through and listening to a story so I'm gonna be completely honest I'm probably gonna cut out most of this one because it's literally just walking in a straight line and hearing Kazuo speak about his best and it's it's basically not anything new that we haven't heard before and it's literally his main story so um I'll uh I'll, I'll see you when something important happens yeah this is basically just Kazuo's story with his friend we found another shell though I have traveled far basically just Kazuo's story with his uh his friend going through Inazuma, but doesn't really give us any super new information, so it's just like the very basic thing that we learned during his character demo, and I missed this freaking. I was doing the same domain a couple days ago, and I missed the freaking talisman on that account too, and I can't believe I literally just did the same thing, because just one platform ago, I was double checking to make sure I hadn't missed this talisman, and I literally did it on the next platform. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know how much I like this domain, because most of it is literally just a contrivance to get you to sit here and listen to the, the dialogue they wrote and voice acted. Um, there's a couple puzzles like this one, but, like, realistically, you generally don't have to do more than, like, one flip. Actually, I'm so I think this is the only one where you have to change the direction of any of these at all. I think all the other ones are automatically set up for you, and just as you walk into the room... The puzzle basically does itself for you, and you're literally just sitting there because so you can listen to the dialogue, so... I don't know. I don't know how much I like this basically just being an excuse to sit around and have something going on while they tell you this story. I mean, I like the story in this game a lot, but... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much I like the idea of it just being slowly told to you through the veil of some kind of gameplay, instead of just having some actual gameplay and then having a cutscene or something instead. I don't know. Okay, we're just going to continue on through here, but I was, uh, I was flipping through a recording and I found something I want to talk about. <laughs> totally not related to the game, but does anyone else get this weird thing where, like, they just, like, you hear a recording of your voice and it doesn't sound like what you think you sound like in your head? I wonder why that is. It's probably a thing to do how the sound of your voice inside your skull while you talk versus bouncing off your eardrums when other people hear it. But... If you've ever wondered to a degree why my videos have uh, very little editing, it's not just because I uh, I prefer it that way, although I do, I kind of like more off-the-cusp content. I think it's more, I don't know, I think I've mentioned this before, but a certain amount of unprofessionalism is very, uh, or unscriptedness is very, like, appealing to me, or very free-form content, you know, that's very lackadaisical um, in nature. But, uh, the other reason is that I cannot stand the sound of my own voice, so, uh, yeah, it takes me <laughs> a while to edit anything, even remotely, because I cannot stand the sound of my voice. So, yeah, but, uh, out of curiosity, have you, anyone, if any of you ever, like, listened to a recording of your own voice and just, like, been like, man, that is not what I think I sound like. At wait, side note in here, just like a tiny detail that like maybe could lead to something. So at some point in Kazuo's story as he's running away, he meets a, a fairy man, right? And the fairy man is like, yo, I'll help you. And Kazuo's like, why are you helping me? And he's like, obviously someone in the Yash, I mean, in, you know, 
wants you to be fine. Warning you, do not attempt to resist. But that makes me wonder if like Oh really? If we're ever gonna get any idea who that character is. Who someone in the Yashira condition is to have like have a soft spot for Kazo. I don't know if that's a character we already know or not. I don't know. That, that could be like a an unreleased character, or hinting at an unreleased character. Alright, and the final destination is the Alicor, which is a Beto ship. So uh, just to kind of recap Kazuha's story real quick, uh, or what we learned relatively new from here is that Kazuha was a, a member of a clan. It's yeah, it's the Alicor. And look, Kazuha's over there! Yeah, and Kazuha's on it. We found him. But, um... He was a member of a, a clan, the Katahara clan, and uh, essentially the clan went downhill. His dad was like, yeah, screw it, go off, do your own thing, kid. And Kazu, originally Kazu was like, no, I don't want to, I want to save the clan. Then eventually he was like, hey, you know what, doing my own thing does count. Does kind of fit me, so I'm going to go off and do stuff. And that's basically his whole story. Alright, after the events of today, you decide to contact Venti. Fischl seems to have uh, run off, maybe a little... Maybe hinting that she's a little worried at what will be inside her illusion, yeah, assuming all of them have one. So, but we're gonna contact Venti. All right, and that wraps up Kazuha's island. Uh, in my opinion, the weakest of the islands, but still a relatively good story. Um, kind of just tells us more about him. Um, Fischl seems a little, a little worried about her island. Uh, she's kind of gotten a lot less excited, so. Ooh. Wonder what big revelations will be there. Uh, having done it, not, n nothing that would make her actually go crazy. So I actually don't get why she's like this, but I, I don't know. Who knows? But um, I hope you enjoyed the episode, uh, and I hope you come back for the next one. Uh, next up is Zinian's Island, I believe. So see you in the next one. Have a great day.